Welcome uh, to our worship service for our second Sunday in Christmas. Uh, thank you for joining us at First Lutheran, um, and I welcome you um, as Pastor Beck um, on behalf of the church uh, for joining us this morning. Um, our service uh, this morning is our Christmas bell ringing service. Um, some announcements coming up. Um, we will have drive through communion later in January. Look for more announcements about that, and our annual meeting will be January 31st. Uh, more information about that coming as well. Keep an eye out on your mailbox and your email. So. This very informal service today, keeping with the 12 days, starting started back in uh, the year 567 the purpose of which was to allow God's people more time to reflect upon and celebrate the gift of the Incarnation, God with us in flesh. Some start counting the days on December 25th, others start on December 26th and run through Epiphany, the arrival of the Magi. So we have a dozen or perhaps a baker's dozen of days. We welcome you with your bells to read. Um, you are invited to ring your bell at any time that the Spirit moves you but especially after the reading of the scripture. After the reading of scripture, the reader will say, this is the word of the Lord. And the response from you, along with ringing the bell, is thanks be to God. On the first day of Christmas, my true love came to me. Second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love. Six, 
recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praiseworthy acts of the Lord. Because of all that the Lord has done for us, according to the abundance of his steadfast love, he will become our Savior. His presence will save us in our distress. In his love and in his pity, he will redeem us, and we will sing his praises. Day 1, Christmas Day, December 25th, a reading from the Gospel of Luke, the second chapter. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for him in the inn. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christmas is a joyous proclamation of God's coming in the form of humanity, the human, Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. Bringing power and love, Christmas is the feast, a mass, Christ mass, celebration of the birth of Jesus. Let us reclaim these days, proclaim Jesus, God's presence, our unity in Christ, and our response to God's good news. Hear all the bells, glad Christmas bells, hear what they say this joyous day. Jesus is born on Christmas morn, be Good cheer. Day 2, St. Stephen's Day, December 26th, a reading from Acts, the 6th chapter. Now during those days when the disciples were increasing in number, the, and the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. And the twelve called together the whole community of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should neglect the word of God in order to wait on tables. Therefore, friends, select among yourselves seven men in good standing, full of the Spirit and full of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this task, while we, for our part, will devote ourselves to prayer and to serving the word. What they said pleased the whole community. They chose Stephen, a man of full of faith and the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Tim Timon, Par Parmenaeus, and Nicholas, a a proselyte of uh, Antioch. They had these men stand before the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of God continued to spread. The numbers of the disciples increased greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of them who belonged to the synagogue of freedmen as it was called, Cyrenaeans, Alexandrians, and those from Sicilia and Asia stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not stand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people as well as the elders and the scribes. Then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up false witnesses who said, This man never stops saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses handed on to us. 
And all who sat in the council looked, looked intently at him, and they saw that his face was like an angel. When they heard these things, they became enraged and ground their teeth at, Steph, at Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of the young man named Saul. When they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The early church dedicated the first slash second day of Christmas to Stephen, the first martyr, patron, saint of the deacons and the diaconal ministers, and for those who serve in the faith. In the first martyr, he is given the most honorable day, first next to Christmas. It is called Boxing Day in England. It would be assumed that this is a day that people would be fighting, but this is not so. What it really means is that food would be feasted, or put into boxes for the community, for the poor, after the feast. Food, not fighting. If you listen closely to the words of this song, you will learn the story of the good man who lived out his faith by the care of how Jesus directed us to do. On St. Stephen's Day, it is appropriate to remember those who serve and to those others ourselves. Good King Wences lost looked out on the feast of Stephen when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even brightly shone the moon that night though the frost was cool when the poor man came in sight gathering winter stand by me if thou knowest telling yonder peasant who 
Day three, St. John, Apostle and Evangelist, December 27th. A reading from the book of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being for what has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them, and he was the one who had who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. So the rumor spread in the community that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is testifying to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. But these are also the things that if Jesus did, not every one of them were written down. I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. John's Gospel tells the story from the Incarnation, God to flesh, uh, to Jesus being crucified and raised from the dead for us. This was God's act of giving, God's act of us in creation. John played an important role. He was a bishop in the early church in Ephesus, which is the present day Turkey. He was always calling for Christians to love one another. Good Christian friends rejoice with heart and soul and voice. Give ye heed to what we say. Jesus Christ is born today. Walks and ask before him thou, and he is in the manger now. Christ was born today. Christ was born today. Good Christian friends rejoice with heart and soul and voice. Now Day four, the Holy Innocents, December 28th, a reading from the Gospel of Matthew, the second chapter. Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up and took the child and his mother by night and went to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken to the Lord by the prophet. Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, and he sent and killed all of the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or younger, according to the time when he had learned from the wise men. Then it was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, she refused to be consoled because they are no more. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We remember that Herod was a bloodthirsty, horrid person. He had murdered members of his own family, killing three of his sons. He felt that his throne was threatened and that he had no scruples in murdering the innocent children of Bethlehem to 
protect his throne. Why do we read this in the celebration of the 12 days? Why don't we just remember the happy things? Maybe because there will always be the innocent, the victims, and we should remember them and pray for them. Day 5, Nativity, December 29th, a reading from the Gospel of Luke, the second chapter. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a familiar picture. Animals were present at Christmas time. They were the favorite part of every nativity scene. The sheep, the cattle, the donkeys, the camels. This is a reminder of God's goodness in creation, and it is used to illustrate peace and living together unthreatened. The Holy Family, December 30th, a reading from the Gospel of Luke, the second chapter. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. 
This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law. Simeon took him in his arms and praising God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people of Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to the mother Mary, This child is destined for for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, to be a sign that will be, oppo- that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, the tri- of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment that she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Anna and Simone waited for the fulfillment of the promise in the Christ child, in the dedication of Jesus. They saw the redemption of Israel. Day 7, Watch Night, December 31st, a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and with all of the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you made me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that I saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You that are accursed, depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not give me clothing. Sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. 
Then they will also answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty or a stranger in, or naked or sick and in prison and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. People of faith, wait and watch for new beginnings to arrive. For everything, there is a season. During the Christmas season, we remember Christ's presence among the poor, and we meet him in the need of our neighbor. Holy child within our Mary, Mother of our Lord, January 1st, a reading from the Gospel of Luke. So the shepherds went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all of these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. After eight days had passed, it was, the challenge, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The first day of the year is given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, as an important person in our Christian heritage. Let's consider the importance of this person in the life of Jesus. The Luke passage speaks of the shepherd's visit to Mary, of her careful pondering of the things they proclaimed. She listened, she pondered, she obeyed. God's child is now Mary's child. <laughs> Day 9, Incarnation, January 2nd, a reading from the Gospel of John. The Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. This is the Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. (laughs) 
Words can kill, words can make alive. Words have power. In the beginning, God said, let there be. God spoke creation into existence. When asked why Jesus was called the Word, an eight-year-old gave this response, because Jesus is all God wanted us, and sorry, I'll repeat that, because Jesus is all God wanted to us to hear. <laughs> Day 10, Baptism, January 3rd, a reading from Titus. But when the goodness and the loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of any works of righteousness that we have done, but according to his mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This Spirit poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of of eternal life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. John, in his gospel, refers to Jesus as the Lamb of God. Baptism is a covenant, a promise, a sacrament. There is a gospel song called, Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's the same song that we learned as a children, but the last line is, Mary had a little lamb, and Jesus was his name. Songs of thankfulness and praise, Jesus Lord to Day 11, Peace, January 4th. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Nations shall come to your light. And sovereigns to the brightness of your rising. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of the Lord is with you always. And also with you. Jesus Christ is born down in the lowly. 
Day 12, Eve of Epiphany, January 5th, a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magi traveled to find Christ. In some places, it is a tradition to have festival celebrations. Party goers move progressively, following a star to friends' homes and receiving hospitality at each home's. The evening ends with carol singing, remembering the journey of the Magi. Sixth, a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. At the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is this child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all of Jerusalem was with him. And calling together the chief priests and the scribes of all the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is shepherd to my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had, learned, they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Epiphany means manifestation. Revelation, God's appear, appearance, and God's creation. There are many different traditions that have been used during this time. The purpose of Epiphany is to honor the visit of the Magi. In some places, there will be a party with a cake with a bean or a coin baked within it. Whoever gets the bean in, in their piece of cake is the king or queen of the evening. Sometimes they have more of a responsibility. They also have to host the party carnival before Lent that starts on Fat Tuesday. On the eve of the Three Kings Day in Puerto Rico, children put hay in the shoes and place them outside for the animals, for the magi, so they can get to them. When the hay is gone in the morning, they find toys and candy in place. In Italy, Bifana, uh, Bifana leaves surprises. The name Bifana is from the word epiphany. A cranky fellow named Rodolfo joins her, threatening people to punish them if they had been naughty. Bifana wants to join Magi in search of Christ. But at the last moment, 
loses her courage. We've all lost our courage at some point. So now, on every epiphany, she goes from house to house, searching for Christ. Everywhere she goes, she sees Christ in everyone she meets. Protect your church from stumbling. Let it not be overcome by sorrow, division, or despair. Make us radiant with goodness that we may live always in praise of your glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You overflow with grace upon grace. Expand the imaginations of those who serve in positions of authority. Open their hearts to the needs of their nations and communities. Protect all of those in harm's way and those risking danger for the sake of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You come to us in the beauty of darkness and of light. Bring justice and reconciliation to communities divided by oppression and misuse of power. Guide us to speak holy words of advocacy and truth. Help us to honor your image in one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, your beauty shines forth from the manger and your love flows from the cross. As you gather us around these signs of your love, come among us, warm us to extend your care among the hungry and all in need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me twelve drummers drumming eleven pipers piping ten. heavenly guest and keep our christmas in your breast go in peace serve the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god, god.